Here's a message from C.J. Lovick, author of the widely popular Living Word in 3D series. Watch as he unfolds a mystery hidden just under the surface. Is there a mystery hidden just under the surface of the first name of a man revealed in the book of Genesis? In the conventional Hebrew, most of us understand that Adam means red earth or man. But what does it mean in the Hebrew picture language? The first Hebrew letter in the name of Adam is Aleph. Aleph is pictured as an ox. The ox is the strong leader who will guide and protect the herd. The second Hebrew letter in the name of Adam is Dalet, pictured as a doorway or a pathway. The final letter in the Hebrew name of Adam is Mem, pictured as water. Waters. Mem can be translated as the waters of chaos and confusion, destruction and death, or the waters of life. So let's translate the picture language of the Hebrew word Adam. Aleph, the strong leader. Dalit, that opens the doorway and enters the path. Mem, that leads to life or death. Which path did Adam choose? The first Adam rebelled, and with that single act of defiance against God, sin entered into the hearts and souls of mankind. Adam opened the path that leads to death, not only for himself, but for all his descendants. God has mercifully provided a way of escape. The mystery of this redemption and deliverance is hidden in the name of Adam. I would like you to consider the Dalit and the Mem, the second and third letter in the name of Adam. When you put Dalit and Mem together, you get the picture of the path pathway of the waters or liquid. And what do the letters Dalit Mem mean in the conventional Hebrew? Dalit Mem spells the Hebrew word for blood, the pathway of the liquid. Now we are all under the blood. The only question is whose blood are we under? The scriptures reveal that Yeshua HaMashiach has come to shed his precious blood as an atonement for sin for all those that repent, call upon his name and receive him alone as their savior. You were born by default under the blood of the first Adam. You are under the same curse as Adam and the the end result of that curse, unless God intervenes, is death and hell. In 1 Corinthians 15.45, we read these words, And so it is written, The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Notice that Yeshua is called the last Adam. He came to earth to open up another doorway, another pathway, not a pathway that leads to chaos, confusion, and death, but a pathway that leads to life eternal, a pathway he opened by his sacrificial atoning death on the cross of Calvary. John 14, 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now you know the mystery hidden in the name of Adam. There are literally hundreds of precious mysteries found in the ancient Hebrew. To learn more about this word and other Hebrew words, subscribe to livingwordin3d.com and we'll send you a new word every week.